um, may not have been the worst. It's definitely one of the most embarrassing things that happened in an audition. Was I'm a huge Julia Davis fan, and uh, have been for many, many years. And she asked me to come in to audition for um, one of her shows, and I turned up, and it was an improvised audition. <laughs> And uh, I was so excited. Before I was going in, I was saying, you know, just be cool around Julia Davis, because it's very rare that you get to actually meet the star in an audition, let alone, you know, improvise with them. So I was like, be cool, be cool, and sort of just, just keep your wits about you and be professional. And uh, I walked in, and everything in me was saying, uh, don't hug Julia Davis. <laughs> You walk in, and I saw her, and she was very polite. She said, hello, thanks so much for coming in. And I was like, oh, hi. And I just found myself walking towards her. And I was thinking, no, she was sort of going, holding out the hand. And then I thought, no, abort this. And I turned around, the producer was there, who I vaguely knew, so I decided to re realign myself to hug him. And he was like, oh, that's nice. And I hugged him. And then I turned around to her, and she was still holding out her hand. And I was like, Julia. <laughs> I went in, and I held her so tightly <laughs> for like a beat too long. And she was like, oh, hi, what, what's your name? I was like, Phoebe. <laughs> and she was like, oh, that's really nice. She was so lovely to me. I did the improvisation, during which I managed to also decide, I managed to improvise my way under a rug with her as well. And then as we were leaving, <laughs> I'd been really overly intimate with her through the whole thing. And um, again, she was being really, really kind and polite to me, but she said, uh, that's, that's really great. Thanks so much for, uh, for uh, coming in. And, uh, and I was like, okay, thanks. And I thought, in my head I was going, Phoebe, just leave. Just leave the room. <laughs> you don't need to do that again. And, then, and yet my legs were walking towards her. I was like, Julia, <laughs> at the end. She was like hiding behind a table. And I managed to sort of clamber over a table and embrace her yet again towards the end of the audition. And then as I was leaving, I just had these horrible thoughts going through my head saying, she's the only person I hugged in the room the second time. And that's not cool. I can't be just some kind of star hugger, you know? Like, I have to be a professional. <laughs> so as I was halfway out the door, there was a boom guy there with his back to me, because it was a filmed improvisation. He was just sort of fixing his boom. And I just sort of double backed and just sort of hugged him from behind <laughs> like this. And just like, thank you. He was like, Oh, uh, it's all right, thanks. And then I kind of sloped out the door. And um, I didn't get the part. <laughs> and I, I'm telling myself it's because I overhugged. And, uh, and now uh, I sort of visualize myself not hugging the people I love too much when I go into auditions. That one slightly haunts me. But then brilliantly, when I bumped into Julia uh, a few weeks ago, I told my best friend this whole story. And when I saw Julia coming towards me, she was being so lovely. She was like, hi, really lovely, Jack. And I was like, don't hug her, don't hug her, don't hug her. She's so elegant, don't hug her. And I stood there, and I managed not to. But my friend, who I told the story, she suddenly went, Julia, in her own panic about the story. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just Julia Davis. Maybe she just... She's just got that thing about her, doesn't it? You just, you just want to embrace her, hoping that some of her will rub off on you. Don't overhug your heroes. But at the same time, oh, fuck it, do it anyway, because it feels amazing. <laughs>